So Xi Jinping is making new friends as his old friends languish in misery like Gotabaya Rajapaksa. Befriending China cost him dearly. His country ran out of money. Gotabaya himself had to flee. It's been more than a month and he's still on the run. He went to the Maldives, then to Singapore, and now he's seeking shelter in Thailand. He got the permission to enter, but on two conditions. One, he cannot stay longer than 90 days, and two, he cannot conduct political activities on Thai soil. Here's a report. When Sri Lanka fell on hard days, he was lounging in his palace. Today, he's running out of options to hide. A month since he fled his homeland, Gotabaya Rajapaksa is still on the run. He's hopping countries to seek refuge. On July 12th, when protesters stormed his home, he left Sri Lanka and reached the Maldives. Sri Lankans living there protested, so within 48 hours, he left Mali. The next stop was Singapore. He relocated with his family and has been there ever since. On Thursday, his visa ran out. Singapore says it doesn't grant asylum requests. So Gotabaya will have to leave. Where is he going next? To Thailand. Does he have the permission to enter? He does. According to the Thai Foreign Ministry, Gotabaya's request has been approved. He will be allowed to stay in Thailand because he still holds a diplomatic passport. This passport allows him to visit any country and travel without a visa. But there's a catch. He can only stay in Thailand for 90 days. That too, on a condition. He cannot conduct political activities on Thai soil or cause any trouble for the Thai leadership. A statement by Thailand's Prime Minister reads, This is a humanitarian issue. We have made a promise that it's a temporary stay. No political activities are allowed and this will help him find a country to take refuge in. In simpler words, this is not an asylum, you will have to leave. It's an embarrassing fall for Gotabaya Rajapaksa, once famously called the Terminator. Today he's living as an absconder, searching for a safe haven. He can't go back to Colombo. His successor says the time is not right. The Gota Go protests may have fizzled out, but anti-establishment rallies haven't. These images are from Tuesday from a pro-democracy protest. It was called by trade unions to demand fresh elections and seek subsidies for the people. A day before, there was a protest seeking the release of jailed activists. And the day before that, protesters faced off with cops outside the presidential secretariat. On the economic front too, there's no relief. Sri Lanka is yet to secure an IMF bailout. An agreement was expected by August. It's been 11 days. There's no breakthrough yet, so the situation remains precarious, both for the people of Sri Lanka and their former leader turned fugitive. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.